Lincoln, pick up the keys. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Even greased his partner to make it look good. But if you got doubts, I'll take the chance. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Lincoln, we burning daylight. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, not like he'll be able to spend it. Feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. Well, if I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there, use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this, what's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? So come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. Conditions over there, over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, ain't like I've never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Where the hell you going, Lincoln? 
Now here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. <laughs> We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around the goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. Damn, you're scratching the paint. Where was I? I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. 